presentation of gifts appreciation to the guest lecturer. Your Excellency, sir, this is a unique gift and it's a challenge to Ogo State government under your able leadership. Uh, you know that this is an oil uh, platform. This is a challenge, Your Excellency, that, that it is time Ogo State government engage in exploring a uh, basin. There is high potential in the business within which Ogun State is situated. We have confirmed today that there is a large deposit of asphalt in Ogun State. And I'm sure if we continue the research activity, we might find oil as the condition is favorable in some area. And therefore, uh, as you see this, a challenge thrown to you from Manitoba University to explore the subsurface for higher potential and development of Ogun State. I have uh, helped to assemble it, but in case you want to dismantle it and reassemble it, although it may take you another 10 years. also from the university. You know, we have Department of Fine and Applied Arts. And our students are excited that you are here. So on behalf of the university management, students and staff, we hereby present this to you. Her Excellency, the wife of my brother and the executive governor of Lagos State, the performing governor of Lagos State, my father in the Lord, Pastor Ulukoya, the newest alumni of this prestigious university. Dr. Mrs. Olukoya, who looks like she was born with this academic gown, by the way. It looks so befitting. Congratulations. The Vice Chancellor of this university, the member of, members of council, and all the management of this university, members of my team that came with me from Abekuta, all the graduates of today and their parents, eminent and distinguished ladies and gentlemen, too numerous to begin to recite. Let me first thank this prestigious Ivy League in the making university. Ivy League in the making. If you recall, my lecture where I enumerated all the top schools in the world, the top 10 schools in America. They were all faith-based institutions. It is not a coincidence that MTU is also a faith-based institution. Institution that's based on values. 
on standards, on qualitative learning. No doubt, the future of this great university is very, very bright. I want to thank you first for inviting me to be here. I didn't waste any time in counseling my previously agreed engagements to be here today. It is indeed a privilege. For each time you invite me, be rest assured that I've already accepted in advance. I want to thank you for the challenge that you have just given me. I indeed feel challenged. But let me mention that it is not a coincidence that I come from the oil and gas background. That was what I did before I became governor of Ogun State. I was also the chairman of the committee of oil and gas in Ogun State when my predecessor assumed office. I worked as chairman of the Olonkola Free Trade Zone Project that was meant to have the Dangote refinery sited in Ogun Waterside. However, discussions broke down between Dangote and the then administration, which led to the loss of that project to Lagos State. A $16 billion project was lost to another state. That project was conceived with the aim of not just refining petroleum products in the state, but also taking advantage of the mining leases that have been awarded around that corridor that had not begun to be exploited. We also know that we have very rich oil reserves in Tongeji Island around the Yewa corridor of Ogun State. Ogun State is in what we call the Dahomey Basin, which is a basin that starts from the Niger Delta that goes all the way to uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the to Ghana. Every one of the states in that corridor are oil producing today, even Ondo State and Lagos State. So naturally, Ogun State will become all Buddhist. And we are working assiduously on that. So I accept this challenge. It will further strengthen our resolve to ensure that we bring Ogun State to all Buddhism status in the very near future. <laughs> having said that, having said that, unfortunately, I will not be able to stay to the end of this program. I have a few other commitments that I must also honor. However, before I leave, I was going through today's program and looking at the list of graduates and those that had performed so well, so creditably well. And I noticed that you have the best graduating students, graduated from the Faculty of Social Sciences and Economics with a GPA of 4.96. 4.96. No doubt, this student came here in the quest for excellence. He had faith. He definitely had faith. He applied himself. Oh, she, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. You know, we men are naturally brighter than the women, so I assume that I have to be a man. <laughs> that is actually not true. That is what I would like to think, but that's actually not true. So she came here. She obviously had a lot of faith in herself and in the Almighty God. She applied herself to the knowledge. She was very resilient. And today she's graduated as the best graduating student. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she?
So, I present before you Olusheyi Daniela Olubumi. Is that correct? From the School of Economics, best graduate student. On behalf of the government and people of Ogun State, I congratulate you. On behalf of the people of this state that plays host to this institution, we will be supporting you with a meager sum of one millionaire. For being faithful, for acquiring knowledge, I'm sure you will transfer this knowledge to a lot of wisdom and you make it practical. And for being resilient, oh. That's okay to cry. That's okay. That's okay. We're not stopping at that. We are also offering Olusheyi an instant job opportunity in Ogun State. We hope that this will further inspire all those that are coming behind Olusheyi to even be better than Olusheyi. You are sitting on the mountain top. You can't get it better than that. Congratulations. Thank you very much for having me. God bless you and Merry Christmas.